everyone, I'm Sandy Caldwell and welcome to Quilt Cabana Corner with Sandy Caldwell. A few years ago I had a YouTube channel that was called Quilt Cabana Corner and because I was inactive on it for so long, um, YouTube was like, sorry, you can't log in. So I've spent a month trying to figure out how to log into it and none of my old passwords work or whatever. So I'm just starting a new one and hopefully um, the people who are watching that from a few years ago will come on over and watch this one. So what I'm hoping to do is just to bring like a creative video cast to everyone, maybe like every other week, and just to show you what it is that I'm working on here in my studio. And I quilt, obviously, but I also do a lot of other crafts. Um, I like to knit socks on a loom, I like to do latch hook, I like to crochet, I enjoy um, embroidery and all kinds of things. So. Um, We'll talk a little bit about all those kinds of things because everyone loves variety, right? So for those of you who are new to me, my name is Sandy Caldwell and I am the owner of Quilt Cabana Patterns and it's a design business. I also long arm and teach and um, I've designed for uh, many magazines so you might have seen my projects in those and I'm also the author of uh, Little, Little Quilts for Big Occasions. So. Um, and I have a, a podcast called Quilt Cabana Corner, which I haven't podcasted there in a while either. Um, I don't even have a good excuse, just haven't done it. So maybe we can revive that again too. And I'm a big fan of podcasts. I love the homegrown podcasts, um, and all my friends who are out there doing it along with me, like Sandy Quilts and, uh, from Quilting from the Rest of Us and Francis. Um, and Karen Esser, Kristen Esser, I'm sorry, just started a new one too. So everyone's, um, I think kind of looking again for the homegrown podcasts and video casts. So hopefully I can bring a little bit of that to you. I thought today I'd just kind of show you what I'm working on here in, um, my studio. And also, um, in case you don't know, I, um, am a wife and a mom to three, uh, beautiful teenage daughters, one who's in college, one who's about to go to college, and one who's a sophomore. So, and I have a mom who adores quilting as well, and we like to get together and have a little sew day once in a while and go to quilt shows and stuff like that, so. And I have all these wonderful students, five or six students right now, and uh, we have a lot of fun. We like to get together. Um, and have some open sew days as well as some learning days, but it's always fun. So hopefully we'll be bring a little bit of that fun quilty creating chit chat um, to this. So we're awaiting a big nor'easter today, which is why I'm looking out the window because something's going blow blowing down the street. This is our fourth nor'easter in about 12 days. Uh, first day of spring was yesterday, but I don't believe it believe it when I see it. All right, so um, this week I am working on portrait quilts and um, if you could see my phone right now, it's rigged up with a, a weird tripod attached to a light. So I will be stepping out of the frame because I can't figure out any better way to do this right now. So um, the, the way that I'm doing the portrait quilts is kind of a combination of Susan Carlson's uh, fabric collage and Lini Weiner's pictorial quilts. Um, I guess you could also say maybe it's a little bit of uh, Wendy Butler, Wendy Butler Burns. Uh, she does a lot of that too. Um, and I'm kind of throwing everyone's techniques in together into one pot because that's how I like to work. And the first portrait quilt that I did, well, first I'll show you the one, the one that I'm working on right now is of my daughter Amanda and this um, picture was taken in Maui at uh, the Kula Lavender Farms and what I want to do is just sort of bring it in collage form to life. I'm not super great with faces yet so this one fortunately won't have a lot of detail on the face but basically what I'm doing is I am taking little tiny pieces of fabric 
And so this will ob this orangey brown will obviously be right here, the uh, dock that she's sitting on. So by tiny, I really do mean tiny. So these are just little tiny pieces of fabric that I've cut up in all different shapes. And I'm literally just gluing them on, just gluing them on in place onto my piece of fabric. So I really wanted to put this on a piece of muslin, but I didn't have a piece of muslin in my stash uh, large enough. So I haven't actually used muslin in a while. So I just went with a white fabric, but I'm actually using the back side of it. And I think that it'll be fine. It's all gonna be covered in little tiny bits of pieces anyway. So I'm just using Aileen's uh, Crafty Tacky Glue, one little dot on each piece, just to hold it to the fabric. So when it's done, it will end up looking like, whoops, dropped it. This one that I had put on Instagram recently, I'll stand back so you can see it. This is one that I did of my daughter, Lindsay. Um, she's standing on the dock at the Polynesian down in Disney holding her little doll. She's in what was iconic to us, the little pink hat and her rainbow bathing suit. And I'm gonna put this up real close. And as you can see, it's just small pieces of fabric that are just glued on there. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but then I covered it over with tulle and did the quilting on it. So that was probably my first foray into Susan Carlson's technique. And I did really love it. Um, Leany Weiner's technique is more um, akin to the one that I did of my daughter Amanda when she was lying in the grass outside one day. And that was more freezer paper template where I took the picture of her and made templates from that with the freezer paper, cut them all out and then put them all together. Now this quilt is actually, when I hold it up, it's not upside down. It's that she was laying in the grass and I was standing at her head. So, I hope you can kind of see. But she has on her Pierce the Veil t-shirt, which she was really big into them, and her sunglasses. And she used to have all these rope bracelets on her arm. So that was that. And I always kind of thought that this should have been an album cover for Pierce the Veil. Um, I thought her, not necessarily my quilted version of it, but her photo of it came out really good. So that would be more in like, uh, Leany, I don't even know if I'm saying her name right, Leany Weiner's technique. So, um, now in this one, I think I'm gonna lean more towards Susan Carlson because that's already what I've begun. But what I did was I posterized this uh, in a program called GIMP. And that allows you to take a photo and choose the number of color layers that you want so that I know it's hard to see and I can't really move the camera too much because, uh, oh, well actually, I can move this. It gives it sort of a posterized look. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I'm nervous because I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> but it gives it a posterized look to it. Okay, colors you wouldn't ordinarily see on a person, like the yellows and stuff there. Um, and that, what that's going to do is that's going to help me determine what value should be uh, in the fabrics I'm choosing for that spot on the picture. And the way that I'm going to do that, now my students who just took a value class with me, color and value, are going to be like, oh yeah, that's right, we were talking about this. But in Lini's book, she gives you this nice uh, value chart. And what you would do is you match up, say Amanda's shirt here, you would match this up with, like I would say her shirt would be like a number three value. And of course you all know value is relative. So it just depends on what other fabrics you are putting the chosen fabric next to. because. Something you think looks like a medium could actually be, be the light when it's next to darker fabrics. And the opposite is true, of course. Um, it could be a dark, it's next to lighter ones. 
So, and what that will help me do is just give it a more realistic portrait look. Um, it will give me the right depth where I need it, the right shadowing, and the right highlights. So, um, as you can see, I've really only just begun this. I'm going to be working on it. My kids actually have like a half day today because of this impending storm. And my plan is really just to um, sit here in my studio and get some coffee real soon and um, cut up little tiny bits and pieces of fabric and start gluing away because the only way you get it done is to actually sit down and do the work. So yesterday I finished long arming a quilt for my student Gail. She did this phenomenal job uh, on a jelly roll quilt that looks like the Caribbean islands and you can see it on Instagram because I just put it there. So yesterday. Um, so that's done and now I'm free and clear to move on to this for a little while and then uh, who knows, maybe next time we'll talk about Bargello because I'm quilting, teaching a class in Bargello coming up in April. And also, uh, I'm hoping to be working on my latched hook maybe tonight, which is a Christmas tree skirt. And I got this awesome new table as a birthday gift from my mom um, to hold all my latch hook stuff. And I, maybe we'll show you that in an upcoming episode. So I'm just going to keep it short and sweet because... Uh, I got work to do. So everyone enjoy the day. If you're in the nor'easter zone, good luck. That's all I can say. I'm so done uh, as is everybody else. So you can reach me at quiltcabanapatterns.com and from there you can click on the blog tab or you can just go right to the blog which I try to update once a week and that's quiltcabanapatterns.com forward slash blog. I'm on Instagram, I think it's Quilt Cabana. I have a Facebook page called Quilt Cabana Patterns. I'm Sandy Caldwell, S-A-N-D-I-C-O-L-W-E-L-L-L -L -L -L, on Twitter. Or I'm Quilt Cabana. If Sandy Caldwell doesn't work, it's, it's Quilt Cabana. It's one of those. You'll find me. The information's on my blog too. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll even have a podcast for you soon. I don't know. We'll see where it takes us. So, um... Thanks for joining me. Spread the word if you know someone who likes to watch or talk about quilting and crafting. And um, hopefully this will be something that I can be consistent with so YouTube doesn't shut me down again. Um, have a good day, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.